So here we are back in the report, and I see that I had a failure during my last BDD Cucumber test execution. I wasn't able to click on phone number to enter some information, but here I can see that Parasoft has recommendations. So if I click here, we can see Parasoft Selenix AI at work. Parasoft Selenix has informed me that I was unable to click on payee.phone number, but it believes that if we change the underlying element locators in the Selenium test code to use one of these smart locators, our test will successfully click on the elements required and be more resilient to changes in the UI going forward. And it does this through AI. As we've explained in previous videos, when Selenix sees that a test has failed, it goes back through time and looks at different executions of those BDD scripts to see which elements were clicked previously, discovering whether they were successful, and creates the best possible locators to apply to the test code. We also have some test details and a stack trace to help us debug the issue and feel confident about the resolution. We can supply this information back to the test automation engineer and expedite the resolution process. We will look at the other two later because they're related to wait conditions. And Parasoft Selenic uses its AI to automatically self-heal those as well. Now I can take one of these AI-generated locators and put them back in my test code by either handing them off to a test automation engineer or, in the IDE, automatically importing these recommendations to either Eclipse or IntelliJ. From here, I can jump immediately to the glue code or directly to the element locator that's failing. I can then apply the change right here in the IDE and my tests will be back on track. But wouldn't it be cool if I was able to automatically apply these recommendations and self-heal those elements and wait conditions at runtime? And so, this is the third part of the story, where we can add self-healing to our BDD test scripts. To do this, I can simply enable self-healing, either here in the IDE or through the command line. And in subsequent test executions from my feature files, we'll have this capability. Selenic will automatically swap in the smart locators or automatically try different wait conditions to get my test to move forward. Let's go ahead and turn that on and then execute my test cases. Previously, we had three test cases that failed. Now, if we execute, we should see a different result. Okay, first test. Now this is happening kind of quickly, so keep your eyes on the bottom right hand corner. Notice how it's initiating self-healing here? That's because the page wasn't quite available to the test due to an incorrect wait condition. Uh, same thing here, but these test steps are now passing because we automatically self-heal those wait conditions. Okay, here is the locator self-healing. We know the actual element locators changed as we get to phone, and you'll see it initiating self-healing here, and it moves forward. All right, so here's our last test. This one has that dynamic content. Just wait till this guy starts here. Notice in the bottom right hand corner that it's initiated self-healing. It's waiting for those page elements to be available. And it's trying to wait just a little bit longer and you can see the page is sort of moving forward. And there we go. So quite a lot happened just then. So let's go and take a look at the report. Here you will see that we had three tests that executed and all three of those tests were healed. We'll see here that they are scenario bill pay, scenario healing with weight, and scenario smart API demo. Each had different conditions that were healed. So in the case where we were looking at the test here, we actually went through a series of different weight conditions as different pieces of the UI slowly became available. We can drill in and see a recommendation to change the wait condition for a few seconds longer. And then finally in bill pay, we see we used our smart element locator to automatically heal the test. None of our tests failed, all of our tests passed, but we have tests that still need to be fixed. And so just like before, back in our IDE, we can import test recommendations and address the tests that need to be fixed. We can jump either to the step defs or to the test code and make the changes directly. 
And through this, we will spend less time focusing on maintenance and more time getting value from our BDD test automation with Parasoft Selenix.